Hey everybody, Benjamin Yates here from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video talking about some uh, things having to do with intonation and tuning up your bass trombone. So everything in this video today is going to be about um, setting up the intonation for an independent uh, two-valve bass trombone. So if you've got a dependent system, valve system, um, or if you're dealing with just a uh, single valve bass, um, some of this stuff might apply to you, but not, not all of it. So um, the first thing that I think is really important that you do is make sure that the open horn is in tune. And before you even do that and start to think about that, make sure you're warmed up. Um, too many times the horn's not warmed up or it's, it's, it's just straight out of the car or whatever, and uh, it's not ready. And oftentimes we aren't ready either. So you gotta make sure that your embouchure is all ready to go, that you got the, you know, that nice blood flow going to your lips so that you're really getting your most efficient sound before you start to work on the actual intonation. Okay, so once you're warmed up, the, what I like to do first is make sure that the open horn, so just our regular B flat trombone, is actually in tune. And so I'm gonna do that by playing a tuning B flat and then a lower octave B flat on the open horn. And I'm gonna be using my tuner. Now I like to use tunable for this. I also like to use tonal energy. Doesn't matter which tuner you, you use. You don't even have to use an app. You can use a, a standalone tuner. Um, just know that you're gonna be using a visual tuner. So you have to be really careful not to look and adjust, but to actually play your note, then look at the visual tuner and see what it says and figure out what you need to do to actually get the horn in tune. So I think sometimes some of my students think, oh, I need to make this in tune, and then they work really hard at making it in tune. Really what we wanna do when we're getting the instrument in tune is figure out where these slides need to actually be, and then we can work on all the other parts of intonation later. So we're gonna play a B flat, make sure that the horn's actually in tune. So if you look at what I actually just did, it seems like things are just a little bit on the low side. So I'm actually gonna push my, my main tuning slide in. So on most bass trombones, that would be this larger main tuning slide that is attached to the bell section. But on my bass trombone, it's actually right here in the slide. So I'm just gonna twist my, my tuning in slide system here in just a little bit, just to make my slide a little bit shorter. And then I'm gonna check again. Again, I'm not gonna look right at the tuner the whole time. I'm going to look away and then look at it. So now it seems like I've got my horn pretty much in tune. So now I'm going to move on to the other slides and the other sides of the horn. First, I'm going to go to the F side. So on most of the horns, this is your, your bottom valve, okay? And it's usually the longer slide that's going around the back of the bell section here. It's what's attached to your thumb valve. So what we're gonna do is we know that this, uh, this note, this F, is kind of our home bass note, the second partial for the trombone. The problem with it is it has to be out just a little bit on the slide to be in tune with the rest of the horn. So this is the tricky part about getting to know your bass trombone. You can't just put it in first position. You're gonna have to have it out just a little bit. And so, when I talk about this, I talk about showing the stocking just a little bit. I'm just talking about this little part of the outer slide that's in between the slide lock and the actual cork barrel here. So you're going to have to have this out just a little bit, but it's not out like here for first position. It's just maybe something kind of like here-ish, maybe. Depends on the horn, and it depends on what you have to do for your own embouchure. So you're going to check that by just playing an F, and again, you're not going to look at the tuner the whole time. You're going to check it. So that was pretty good. It was a little on the high side. So I'm actually going to push my F slide out just a little bit more. Just like that. Make sure that it's good set. I'm going to set my slide position where I think it should be for my second partial F. And I'm going to try it again. That time it didn't seem to settle as well. So I'm actually going to push it back in 
And just see if I can't make it settle where it already was. Pop that in a little bit. That's pretty close. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And I can adjust it from there while I'm actually playing. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check my G flat side. Now this is my paddle valve, my second valve. And again, it has to be out just a little bit, but not quite as much as the F side. And I just want to see how close this is where, it, where my slide is right now. My slide's out about an inch, something like that. So when we look at that, it looks like I'm just a little high. So I'm going to push that slide out just a little bit more and see if I can't get it in tune. Pretty happy with that at this point. Now, here's the big thing. This is an independent trombone, right? So that, that means I can play the F in first position. I can play the G flat in first position and second partial on the valve. And I can play a D with both of those valves down. Most likely, I'm going to be playing a lot more things on the F side and the double side than I am just the G flat side. But anymore, I try to use this a lot more like a trumpet. So I want to make sure that those two things are independently pretty much in tune. And then I want to check my double side. wasn't super happy with my articulation on that, so I'm going to do it again and just make sure that I get it settled in. That seemed to settle pretty well. I like the intonation. Most trombones, if you get the F and the G flat in tune, that D will be pretty much in tune in first position. Some trombones are a little trickier, and sometimes you'll have to make some, you know, negotiate and make some... Uh, Make some decisions on exactly what's going to work best for you so that you can get that D in tune. So again, just to recap on a few of these things that I think help a lot with intonation. First of all, this doesn't fix intonation throughout music, right? So when you're playing a melodic line or when you're playing in a harmonic structure with an ensemble, you're still going to have to adjust. The second thing to watch out for is your partial adjustments. You're still going to have to adjust for first partial, second partial in the valves, right? Um, third, fourth, fifth partial has some issues. So knowing what those partial adjustments are is really, really key. The third big thing is knowing what your adjustment is for being in the valve, that you're having, having to go out just a little bit in second partial to make sure everything's in tune. And the last big thing is that intonation with a visual tuner can be deceptive. It can trick you. It can mess with you so that you don't actually think you know what's in tune anymore. So once a day, maybe once a week, depending on how much bass trombone I'm playing, I'm checking the intonation of the horn to be sure that I'm in line with what's going on with the weather and everything else. And then the rest of my intonation work is with a drone. It's with ensembles, and I'm trying to make sure that I'm in tune that way. And I'm trying to adjust as I go, rather than just adjust the tuning slides on the instrument and think that it's actually done. So I hope that helps a little bit with bass trombone intonation. I know that there are other ideas out there about how to do this. I think those ideas are great and that they often work pretty darn well for professionals like myself. But this is how I do it when I'm teaching just a beginning bass trombone student or a high school bass trombone student that's just starting to get some stuff figured out on the horn. I hope it helps. Good luck.